is we'll talk a little bit about what I just played. And if anybody was wondering what I established there at the very beginning was something called an ostinato. And what an ostinato is, is what, what it may have sounded like to some people, is it me with my bass drums, it may have sounded like I was playing a, a triplet pattern, but alternating with my feet. So it may have sounded, you guys can see a little bit better here, get this out of the way. Oops. It may have sounded like I was doing an alternating pattern, which would just be 16th note triplets, which would go like this. And to do that isn't hard, but it takes a certain amount of skill just because if you're going to do that, you have to make sure that you accent on the quarter notes. But what I actually did was, instead of alternating the whole time, was I created uh, a motif, if you will, which just, in, in other words, I, I created something in which I could solo over top of. And this is something that, how many drummers do we have in the crowd today? Cool, okay. This is something that you guys can do even if it's on a small scale, and I'll show you how to do that then too. What I was doing is I was playing that triple pattern, but I was going back and forth between my left and right foot, but playing one with the left, two with the right. So it's going like this. So I'm still playing the same pattern, one and a two and a three. but now I'm just playing left, right, right, left, right, right. And over top of that, I started doing some different things with my hands. And this is where it gets kind of fun and challenging for myself because all the things that I'm playing with my hands really don't match up with what I'm doing with my feet. So the accents aren't the same or anything. So I'm playing this. But then over top of the, the foot pattern with my hands, I started going like this. makes it feel less like it's in three or less in triplets. So the hand pattern almost feels like it's in four in a way. It's like it was going one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. basically in different spots. And for you guys at home who want to try something like this, which I definitely recommend because it's a good exercise in independence and coordination, is even to start with something small. And what I mean by that is, if you just start by going back and forth between the feet. Now this is something that some of you may have done already, and some of you may have not done, but I'm just trying to show you a way to begin all this is if you're just starting off and maybe you're playing your, your bass drum and your hi-hat back and forth, so you're going like... So what you're doing there is you're just creating an ostinato or a motif in which to solo over. So as you're doing this... Thank you.